In this video, we will go over two appointment reminder tools. The first is Reminder Profiles, and these are bundles of reminders you can send out to patients to notify them of an upcoming appointment. Follow-up reminders you can send to patients to remind them to contact your staff to schedule a follow-up appointment. Let's first go over how to set up Reminder Profiles. To create a new one, click Add New Reminder, and you can include as many reminders as you would like for this Reminder Profile. Say, for instance, we would like to send an email to the patient one week before the appointment, an automated phone call one day before, and a text reminder two hours prior to the appointment. You can also preview what the message will look like for your email and text reminders by clicking the preview button on the right hand side. If you would like to add some additional information after the standard message, click Edit. Likewise, for your text reminders, you can preview what the standard message looks like here, and you can also add your custom message at the end for a total of up to 140 characters. It will add your custom message to the end of the standard generated text message. Then click Add New Profile, give it a name, and hit Save. You can edit existing reminder profiles by selecting from the drop down here. You can add new reminders or delete existing ones and also add your custom message as well. Make sure to hit save when you're done. Now let's go and apply one of these reminder profiles for one of your appointments. Go to your calendar and click an appointment. Where it says choose a reminder profile, select one from the drop down, then hit save. If you would like for your Dr. Chrono account to automatically remember the type of reminder profile you would like to apply per patient, say for instance, Jenny only wants to receive text reminders, you can go to account settings under the general tab, scroll down to the appointment settings and make sure you have auto appointment reminders checked off here and click update entire profile to save. So that's how you create reminder profiles and set up reminders which will go out to your patients. Next we'll cover follow-up reminders. And these are generally used if you're seeing a patient and maybe don't need to see them for a few months for a follow-up. And your patients might not yet know their availability that far in advance. So you can send a reminder out to your patients to have them contact your office to schedule that follow-up appointment. I recommend only having two or three set up so you can remove the rest of these. You will be able to save the date in the patient chart around when you would like to see the patient next for that follow-up reminder. These follow-up reminders will be triggered by that date you have saved. So if we wanted to see our patient six months from today, 14 days before that date, they will receive an email reminder to remind them to schedule that follow-up appointment with you. Again, you can choose whether you would like this to be an email, text, or a phone call message. There are two places you can save the date for when you would like to see the patient for that follow-up appointment. The first is here in the calendar. Check off Arrange a follow-up reminder and save the date around when you'd like to see the patient. Say we would like to see the patient four months from now. That data is then saved in the patient chart. Alternatively, you could go straight to the chart, to demographics, to the important section, 
scroll down and save the follow-up date. You can see the follow-up date and the reason for the follow-up that we saved from the appointment screen is also carried into these fields in the patient's chart. We've gone over how to set up reminder profiles as well as the follow-up reminders. If you have any questions about these features, feel free to contact your implementation specialist or contact our support team at support.drchrono.com.